Shannon McLean at Comic Con 2012, and you are watching a show with Dave Murray. Uh, huh? <laughs> I think I forgot how to do this. <laughs> Is this the part where I go, check, check, check me out. Check, check, check me out. Mm. Blue-Eyed Tara right, tweeted, mm. Blue-Eyed Tara tweeted, Zay, can you talk about your views on self-help? <laughs> what do I do, answer it? <laughs> Tara, I'm all over self-help. I wouldn't be where I am today if I hadn't read Practical Advice for Someone Just Like Me by Zay Frank. And right now I'm in the middle of writing Self-Helping Yourself with Self-Help Help. Self-Helping self Yourself with Self-Help Help helps you help yourself with self-help. I don't want to give it away because it's awesome, but there's no questions and no answers, just quansers. One, you should never try self-help by yourself. And that's why two, chapter one of my book deals with how to approach any first chapter of any other self-help book. And chapter two deals with how to approach the chapter two of any other self-help book. Order right now and I'll send you this how to become a best-selling author miracle kit and a breath towel. <clears throat> Seriously though, for less than the price of a single cup of coffee and a book, you can buy my book. Order now and I'll include this everything is a metaphor clay ball, which is a metaphor for how everything can be made into a metaphor. Tara, I have to ask you, have you read How Big Is Your Hole? Because I have to say, I used to be stuck down here in my D-hole. But after a while, I discovered my true potential is over here in my a-hole. <laughs> a-hole! You know, Tara, Magic Cubby is into self-help. and uses all kinds of aphorisms and metaphors and things like, what's one of the, uh, the, the metaphors you, oh, don't put too much copy paper in one cubby hole. What's another one? Don't put too much heavyweight paper in a cubby hole. Do you have any that aren't about paper? No, cardstock is paper. <laughs> I forgot how to do it. <laughs> Coffee cup gang sign. One thing that I do know, Tara, Tara, is that when we're most in need of help, we're the most vulnerable to bad advice. So probably the best time to read self-help is when you least need it, so you can chew on it with a bit of vinegar. And I also know that all metaphors are incomplete and need to be changed like the oil in your car. Every thousand smiles are after a sleep talking, whichever comes first. Currently I'm using paddle into it as my new saying, but I've thrown away so many over time, like what would your superhero you do. They work for a while and then they just stop working. What are some of the ones that you've thrown away? As I promised before I went on vacation, Magic Cubby gets to do a mission. Whilst I was gone, a bunch of you created almost 1700 frames of a stop motion animation. And Magic Cubby would like to show it to you now. Congratulations. <laughs> Bye-bye.